I can't believe I did it, but I did one of the most stupid things I think I've ever done as a videographer. And I accidentally formatted the SD card that all the footage was on because I hadn't transferred it over yet. So I've spent the last three or four hours trying different backing up mainly different softwares that recover data because I just formatted over it. I haven't put anything on top of that. I haven't written over it. So in theory, all the footage that was there should still be there with the right data recovery software. Well guys, you probably just saw, I had a really bad day a few weeks ago. Um, as, I, as I pretty much mentioned, um, here at the house, there's three editing bays, and what we thought would be the best idea was to move hard drive, a single hard drive around between the three of us to do all the editing. So we all edit media and watch videos, we all help shoot them, and so the idea was I was going to take my ProGrade SD card and back everything up to a new hard drive. However, I wanted to format the hard drive for the use of moving it around the house to the different editing bays. So I stuck it into the SD card reader, then I decided to format the hard drive, except I formatted this instead like an idiot. Uh, I freaked out. I got online, I tried probably 10 different uh, data recovery solutions. Um, I didn't want to pay for any of them right up front for the simple fact that once you pay for it, you probably can't get your money back if it was able to help you or not. So I tried a lot of the free trials. A couple of them were able to recover a few files, but I wasn't sold that they would actually um, be usable, be able to edit them. Still have that raw uh, S-Log2 on it and like work properly. Uh, then I remembered ProGrade had their own data recovery software that had come out uh, last year, I believe. And I was like, well, I should try theirs. So I tried theirs and it was able to recover some of the files on the free version to let me know. So I decided it was worth paying the $50 um, to try and see if I could get everything back. So I kind of want to dive into how to actually use the software. It's very, very simplistic step-by-step -step process. But for you out there that may not know how to use the software, well, let's get started with the software walkthrough. The first thing I want to do is go on and open up the software. I've already added in the card. Um, this is really, really a step-by-step -step how to use it. Uh, so we're going to hit next here. Um, and then what we want to recover uh, is we want to recover video here. Now, if you have images that you lost, you can pick images as well, or you can pick one or the other, as you can see. I'm just looking for video, so I don't want it to go look for like JPEGs or RAW files. I want it to look for MOV files, pretty much. Now, it does, if you scroll down here, you do have different, now I don't know if this helps or not, but you have these different brands um, depending on what you're trying to recover here, uh, what camera it's trying to recover. I'm guessing depending on the camera, it's gonna look for certain file um, names, I guess. So if we scroll, like, since this is a Sony, we'd wanna go find Sony, technically speaking. Uh, and let's just scroll down here. So as you can see, we have all these different options right here. And uh, I probably went flying past uh, Sony's here. So it's probably closer to the bottom if we're in alphabetical world alphabetical order here if I can say that correctly guys um, so we're just gonna keep scrolling down and Sigma and Sony should be right here so I would I could pick Sony however I have found it works way better if I just click all devices all device and file type so it's gonna look for everything um, I would not pick your specific camera brand um, unless you really think that works I really like the all device all devices and file types that is exactly what I pick so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next um, and now it's going to look for available uh, SD cards, pretty much. Um, I've got my SD card plugged in, so I'm just going to give it a second to try to find the SD card. Um, I can also create a backup image or a low backup image here if I wanted to. There's the SD card I want to go looking for the files. Hopefully, uh, I have not formatted over this, so hopefully you can find some of the files from the original issue that we had. Now, once we get to here, we pick the SD card, very simple, and then we're going to hit next. Um, again, it's gonna look for video. It's going from this volume, uh, manufacturer, I just put other. And then this is where it's gonna put it at. It's gonna put a user's Threadripper desktop. So again, it's gonna go right into my desktop and it's gonna make like today's date, like this right here from uh, the original backup right here. And it will just do today's date and what time it finished. So once we've done that, we know it's going on to the desktop. Uh, so make sure you change this because if you don't know where it's going into your computer, it may take you a second to go find it once it's finished if it was able to find anything. 
So now we will hit next. And now it's going to go through the 128 gigabytes and it's doing it at a speed of around 40 megabytes per second, as you can see right here. And it has already found one file, um, file 001. And this process here can take hours upon hours to go through. Again, the fifth or sixth step that we'll do is do a deeper uh, recovery, which will give me that option if I don't find all the files I'm looking for. So when we get to that here in a few hours, we will be back to show you those next steps. Once you get to step four with the software, this is where it's gonna show all the files um, that it was able to find. Now it can do a deeper scan. We're gonna go on and do that to see if we can find a few more files because it is actually missing about four or five files that it did not find that I know that are on this hard drive or SD card, I should say. So I'm just gonna click next once again and it's gonna show me everything. And as you guys can see, it makes a folder right here on my desktop because that's where I wanted to send it. And it is going to actually pull up the, uh, the files that I had lost. So like one of them being this GoPro Hero 8 video that we're working on. I had lost that, I had formatted over that. So that's all there, but it's still missing a few of the files. So what I'm gonna go, to, go ahead and do is hit next. And it's gonna pop up once you hit next to the file folder location. And if you can see, it says, if you feel not all the files were recovered, and I feel like, and I know, I'm not that I feel, I know all the files are not recovered here. So I'm gonna go on and hit yes. And now it's gonna go through and it's gonna do a slower, longer, and deeper scan to try to find the rest of the files. Now, like I had said, the files, um, it took me about running this piece of software about four or five times, but it was able to get all the files. I just had to run it multiple times. So if you don't find all the files the first time, I would run it a few more times and it may be able to find the files. If not, well, I'm sorry to hear that guys because that would be super frustrating to lose all those files. But we're gonna do this scan and then we're gonna go over a few more details at the end of this scan. And uh, now you guys will know how to use the software. I just finished the second phase of the data recovery where it tried to go through the sectors and go through it deeper um, so that it could try to find files. It did find a few files that we did not find the first time around. So I can actually open up the folder here and go into it and it found a few files that it did not find the first time around, which is fantastic. So that's why I always do that second phase, especially if you don't find what you're looking for. Um, hopefully it will be able to go through and find the missing files, which it did in this fact in this case. Um, and then it's complete. Um, your recovery has been complete. We hit step six. Uh, then we can hit this and it will open up the designated folder that it just did and it's gonna show the files that it did find. The first time around, it found uh, these files right here. Um, and I think this file four is, if you notice, um, it, this, this file right here was corrupt or it didn't work so I was not able to play this back where I could click on this and I am able to play this file back. Um, again, so these are the extra files it found. So this is a, um, the probe uh, 24 millimeter lens that we were messing around with. And uh, as you can see, we're, it, these are all jelly beans right here that uh, we did. It's amazing what this uh, probe lens could do, but we lost those files and we're able to bring it back on that second phase of the data recovery. And we can burn it to a CD or start over with a new scan if we still didn't find what we want. That's what I ended up doing the first couple times because I was really hoping it was gonna be able to find those files and it did. Again, this software will run you $50 for a one year license, so keep that in mind. I am gonna work and see if I can get maybe a 10% off affiliate link or something like that with them. So uh, of course there will be a link as always. Um, my left, your guys right, and at the end of the video there'll be a link. If you guys do purchase that, we do get a little commission off that, and that does help us. However, just to mention, I paid the $50 for this piece of software because that is how much I believe in it. Um, and then I teamed up with ProGrade afterwards to make this video because I was so ecstatic that I was able to save myself two or three more days of reshooting stuff that I really didn't want to shoot, but I could reshoot. I hadn't necessarily lost the complete footage, like if it was a wedding or something like that, and I can't go back and reshoot a wedding. So this is the software that I would start off with. Now, if it can't recover that, I would look at a bigger, an actual data recovery service that's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, you know, anywhere from two to $300 to multiple thousands of dollars to recover um, a full wedding. So just to keep that in mind, guys. Anyways, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Let's go.
insane day and I thought I would just document it. But today I got up a few hours ago, actually longer than a few hours ago now. I literally look like I just rolled out of bed still and I've been up for four or five hours now. Can't believe I did it, but I did one of the most stupid things I think I've ever done as a videographer and I accidentally formatted the SD card that all the footage was on.